David Ossebel, A Subsumption Theory of Meaningful Learning and Retention, 1962. When Ossebel was formulating his theory from the late 1930s to the early 1960s, the theories of behaviorism and positivistic epistemologies were in control. Ossebel and Piaget, they weren't all that popular. It took a while to earn some credibility. David Ossebel is a New York psychiatrist and educational theorist. He lived from 1918 to 2008 in New York. And he is most famous for the advanced organizer model of teaching. The most important single factor, according to Ossebel, influencing learning is what the learner already knows. Information learned by rote, nonsense syllables and meaningless word pairs cannot be anchored to major elements in the student's cognitive structure to form linkage to it. The differences in recall of information after rote or meaningful learning are very important. Laboratory studies have shown that information learned by rote actually inhibits subsequent learning of additional similar information and even information learned by rote that is forgotten inhibits learning of similar new information. The reverse effect operates after meaningful learning. The subsumption theory breaks down the process of learning into four sets. Derivative subsumption, cor correlative subsumption, superordinate learning, and combinatorial learning. These provide the synthesis and integration for the development of new knowledge in invention and creative thinking that are the basis for the advanced organizer model of teaching. There are multiple types of organizers out there. Here are just a few expository, comparative, narrative, and graphic. The primary idea of advanced organizer theory is that the most important single factor in influencing learning is what the learner already knows. To be effective, advanced organizers must meet two requirements. One, the learner's specific existing relevant conceptual and propositional knowledge must be identified and two, appropriate organization and sequencing of new knowledge to be learned must be planned in such a way as to optimize the learner's ability to relate the new knowledge to the concepts and propositions already held. There are two ideas in this theory that, I, that are important. Progressive differentiation, working from general concepts to specific concepts of any given discipline and integrative reconciliation, the relating of new ideas to prior knowledge. Comparative organizers act as reminders. The organizer activates existing schemas and builds on the prior knowledge of the students. In contrast, expository organizers are often used when the new learning material is unfamiliar to the learning and the learner requires additional scaffolding. Narrative organizers present new information in the format of a story. For example, a teacher will provide the main and important concepts of the lesson by telling a story that includes these concepts. A graphic organizer is a a method of presenting information in the visual realm. The most commonly found graphic organizers are Venn diagrams and concept maps.